everybody, welcome back again today. I'm here to do a little bit more writing with you. Now, I have got a picture today, which means an awful lot to me because I have actually swum with one of these animals before. And it's a huge fish called a Maori wrasse and they live off the coast of Australia. And when I went snorkeling off the coast of Australia, one of these swam up and it was enormous. It was bigger than my arms can stretch, but they're very gentle and very friendly and they like to come up and see people. So our picture today of our Maori wrasse, wrasse is from May the 31st on the Pobble website. And you can see they've got really big heads and, um, lovely yellow fins and look, look at these big lips that they've got, these big lips um, at the front and they're a beautiful blue colour and I would like to write a sentence about our fish today and I'm going to write, it is a big blue fish, six words, it is a big blue fish, shall we have a go? Okay, so it, we can sound out it, it we'd normally write it because I have to remember to start my sentence with a capital letter. So it has to be a capital it. So not an I, which is sometimes gets a bit confusing because that's how we write I. It's just a capital I in this case. So it, it, then a finger space. Is, is, is. Is it is finger space a so it is a I don't think I'm going to fit big on that line so I'm going to start a new line so it is a and to the other side big b -b -b. sound out big shall we b -ig. big B -ig. Yeah. It is a big finger space. Blue. Blue. So let's sound that out, shall we? B -l -u. Now I know that we know the oo uh, uh, digraph, so I'm going to choose a, an O and an O, which make the oo digraph, make the oo phoneme. So it is a big Blue, and then what was that digraph at the end? It was the oo digraph, and remember we've learned oo, so b l o, and it's an o and an o, or an o and an o. Blue. It is a big blue. I definitely haven't got room for fish on that line, so I'm going to have to start again. Fish definitely starts with a phoneme. Let's sound it out then. Fish. So fish. So it's a sh digraph at the end. That's uh, um, one of our earlier digraphs. It's a and a. Okay, it is a big blue fish. Okay, I'm very happy with our work for today. I hope you enjoy writing about your big blue fishes. So you can write whatever you'd like, or you can uh, write a sentence that's similar to mine. But take care and have fun doing your writing. Have fun whatever you get up to today. Stay safe and I shall see you again tomorrow. Bye bye.